Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you my Radson amplifier that I got from Mexico. Yes you guys, this is a foreign amplifier right here. Here's the price that I paid for my amplifier. That's about 80 US dollars right there. Now, lately I haven't been making any new videos because I've been very busy with schoolwork and other things around here. And I apologize for that. And I'm going to try to post a new video at least once a week, if possible. So, today, I got my amp right here. Now, the one interesting thing about this amplifier is there's an alarm button. And that stands for a little alarm that this has built in. Now, as in my last video, remember these speakers? Now this one has a different driver, but this one has the original driver still. The Atlas speaker that came from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. This is hooked up to this amplifier. This is set on 70 volts down here using the transformer. No reverse engineer, it's just straight, straight to the amp. Now you got taps in the back, you got a 70 volt terminal, 25 volt terminal. Four, six, well, four, eight, and 16 ohm terminals here. And then C for common, which this is a four ohm speaker. Now, with this amp right here, you have to have a four ohm and a, a 70 volt speaker hooked on this amp. Otherwise, and I will show you why. Actually, it'd probably be easier if I take it off from the back here. I have a screwdriver on hand, so. See, that's about this. You hear this noise? You have to have this hooked up to stop this noise because when I'm playing music and when a large bass note hits, this sound will get pretty loud and you can hear it in the background. She doesn't sound right. So. I'm not sure why it would do this, but it has to be something with the alarm button on here. Because that's integrated. So, I'm going to hook this back up to stop that noise in the background. See? So, you might have heard that. That was me disconnecting this 4 ohm speaker. It basically adds resistance to stop this speaker from making those funny noises. And even if I disconnect this, it'll make the noise through this as well. So it goes both ways. Now, this got some RCA inputs here. Disco Radio Auxiliary. I just have this hooked to Disco. And no, this is not video. This is audio right here, an audio input. And this is mono, so... For right now, I'm just using this cable right here. Now I could go to some electronic store and get a splitter that combines it into one to make it mono, which that would be better, but for this demonstration, it doesn't matter. So right here I have a, a Mixmax, which is just an iPod basically. So demonstrate that to you YouTubers out there. And I'm not going to click this button because it's pretty loud. It's like full blast on these two speakers. Imagine this on horns. This is more designed for horns as well. And the store that I went to back in Mexico where I got this amp from, they, they had a bunch of horns, like huge horns, like maybe 20 inches. And this amplifier is designed for that as well, but... I only bought this amp because I had 70 volt speakers, which should be perfect for this. So, I'm gonna demonstrate you guys with the song. These are generic songs, so this is copyright free music. Trouble. This 
Just say I'm just free, loud. So, as you may notice, this one's pretty loud because there's four ohms. There's this is on the four ohm side. This was designed to have, the four ohm side surprisingly was designed to have six horns hooked up, six to four ohms hooked. Sorry, you guys, I cannot talk today, but six to four horns hooked to this four ohm terminal here. So, and I also have the documentations of this amp. Which, by the way, if you guys want to look at them, I will have a link in the description for these manuals that I scanned on my own. And there'll be there'll be links in the description, and this will be a PDF format. So here's some specs of the amp right here. More specs, and see, this is what I was talking to you guys about. You could have four to six of these horns. Hooked on the four ohm side, which is where this speaker's at right now. And that'd be pretty loud, so yeah. Here's a schematic, and I will also post a link for the schematic as well, just to schematic only, so that way, if anyone back in Mexico needs to repair this amp but can't get a hold of a schematic, well, here you go. Here's a schematic right here. Some more specs. And what not to do with the sand, basically. Here's some horns, some speakers, transformers, which this one has a transformer. This is a four and a half on the USA made speaker. So yeah. And it works really well. There's some warranty papers, which in Mexico they don't really do warranties, so I still scan this. These two I combined into one PDF, but the schematic, I left that in the big, the big PDF file. But I also made a separate PDF for the schematic, so that way you guys can refer to it if you have a problem with this amp. And if you also have that humming -ish issue like this amp had, just hook a 4 ohm speaker and a 70 volt speaker on in the back. And it'll solve your problem, and the one nice thing about this amp is it includes a cassette tape deck. So, and this this actually works, but I don't have any copyright free tapes, and I don't want to get in trouble by the copyright police on YouTube. So, yeah, and then this is your input selector. It has two microphones, which by the way, I use this with the phone. And my PA system works really well on this amp. This is mic number one, mic number two. And you could also hook basic microphones down here too. And these are just their own knobs, their volume controls to turn the mic controls down. So that it sounds so loud for these speakers. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more to be coming soon. Subscribe to me. Okay, so I decided to just show you how well this amp performs with the intercom system hooked up. So right here, you know this phone that I use with the old system. So how I have this set up is, I have my 3.5 connected to this adapter in the front. Now, when you turn these volume knobs up, they're so sensitive on this. I can't, I have to barely turn it for this thing to be loud. And it's pretty loud. And that humming in the background is just these lights blinking. So I'll pick up this phone. See how loud it is? That is pretty loud. <laughs> That's how sensitive this amp is. And also, I can play background music. That's how loud it is. So yeah, I could technically run a department store <laughs> using this amp. 
That's how wild this sucker is. Imagine if I were to hook this up to the horns, like outdoors, like you, it would be loud out there. So now this is really the end of the video. So stay tuned for more to come.